Good morning! Feliz Viernes! Happy Friday! Chi chi a Move your body! 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 Yeah! Day five of the fast! Woo! I'm excited! Happy Friday! May y'all be having a fabulous Friday! Cheers! Good morning! So I'm gonna have some lovely tea that I made yesterday. If I get to open my fridge. <laughs> so I have cinnamon tea all lined up for today. And then I have ginger lemon tea that I made. So, mm, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Happy Friday to you. My intentions for today are to have fun and embrace fun new ways to love myself, to honor myself, to treat me better, to experience life in a fun way. There's a fun filter today. Hey, hey, hey.
thank you <laughs> for listening and tuning in that was a beautiful song that my mom would sing a church song talking about how faith having faith having faith to continue having faith to know that when we vanish of this temple of this body when we come to the end of our cycle of death that's when we truly live in our full existence in our full capacity because we are all energy and we continue to develop greatness and knowing that and may you all know that there's going to be a death of our ego of our pride of our old self and i feel that 2020 allowed me to see that but there's beauty in death and there's rebirth and there's renewing and there's such a greatness and i'm so grateful to both my parents for their loving life and what their death has taught me in terms of how i live and my dad would always say you cannot truly experience and love life if you do not truly experience and understand that and that hit home for me and it makes sense now hello i'm experiencing my first meal of the day and i thought i'd surprise myself and actually sit on the table to have a meal it's been a while since i've done that i've for the most of the fast and for the most part of my life I really do enjoy just floor sitting for like yoga, meditation, of course, um, laying, hanging out, coloring and everything like that. So my meals have for the most part been me sitting on the floor or just a lot more grounded. But you know, I thought I'd shock myself and sit on the table with all my beautiful bouquets of flowers. I have my water. Shout out to my sparkle sissies. And then I have another glass of cinnamon tea. Cinnamon tea just, again, reminds me of childhood and just goodness. And then I have my kitchery with my little yumminess. And it's so interesting now that I'm coming into day five, realizing that as much as this fast is, is for me to connect spiritually and connect with myself and rediscover who I am and what's up. I, I've also just realized how it's so deeper than that. I really had to tune out everything else for myself to come home to me. And I think it's just been wonderful that I've given myself the opportunity to do that for myself and have not rushed the process and tried to create everything in one moment, in one day. And I'm just so grateful that I have this time to heal, to honor myself, because I know it's not like that for everyone. And I'm just constantly so blown away by my own inner knowings that I'm sometimes like, okay, I'm gonna go do that, or I'm gonna stop doing that. And for me, a big thing that kind of just sprouted and I kind of really feel it too just in my heart space is this this love that I've created for myself that is so blossoming and is so refreshing and is so beautiful and that I get to experience that and I get to honor that part of me that has been craving that and has been so excited to experience that love for myself and it's beautiful and i know that with time i've been able to develop that and with patience and with gentleness and it's in moments where i do choose to take a nap or i do choose to turn off my phone tune into such a deeper knowing of who olivia is and what she actually needs instead of you know reaching for the chocolate chips or being consumed in social media or just like aimlessly being busy and that was a big thing for me growing up was just always having to be productive but also knowing now that rest is so crucial for growth 
resting, pausing, and like I've mentioned before, I'm in my own season of winter of reflection of hibernation and I've really been super blessed to have this moment in my cave to honor myself fully and compassionately and with so much love and care that I'm just so honored to be in this space for me right now. So if there's anyone out there who's also going through their winter phase, their season of just being in solitude and being with themselves. I send so much love and healing energy and positivity vibrations to you because not everyone's gonna understand the path that you take in life. And that's not necessarily people's There's no one more proud of you than you. And if that's not the case, then there might be some deeper knowings and learnings and healings that needs to happen. I'm so proud of where I am at at this moment in my life on Friday, January 15th, 2021. I'm so proud of where I'm at right now. I would not have gotten here and been here to experience this if I didn't say yes to myself, if I didn't give myself all the love, all the guidance, all the goodness that I know that I truly deserve and desire and crave and need and want. And it was in those moments where I said yes to myself that I've experienced magic. I've experienced adventure and I've experienced just joy and I'm excited. I'm excited and I I love it here. I love it here in this in this place in this home that I have created so so consistently with love. And when I talk about home, I talk about my own sacred temple, my own being. Um, I'm here experiencing this human experience, but I'm an energy and I'm a spirit and I'm a soul. And my soul is choosing to honor this place as home in this body. And I respect that and I value that and I trust that because with this temple, this sacred temple that I have been gifted and given at birth, I'm going to lighten and I'm going to love and I'm going to share that with universe and with others and I'm just so grateful to have this space to cultivate that community and so grateful for everyone tuning in and everyone being a part of this growth and this knowing and this light. 2021 is massive transformation not only just for me but for the collective. And once we realize that there's no longer any need to resist and just to flow, your purpose and your light is gonna shine so bright that you're gonna, without an inch of doubt, know that that's where you need to be. And that's what it was for me. So I'm excited for y'all. <laughs> Hey y'all, happy Friday! Feliz Viernes, today is day five. Five is a special number for me. I was born on the 5th of June. Shout out to all my Geminis. Hey, 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 hey. And I'm excited because as I finish off this week and this fast, I'm just super happy that I challenged myself in this way and that I allowed myself to experience this fast. And I allowed myself to really experience the goodness that comes from it. So may this day of fun filled adventure allow you to tap into some fun in your life and allow the goodness of what's birthing into existence just be. So cheers to everyone and thank you so much. If uh, you want to hit the notification bell so you're reminded of all the goodness that comes from my channel, 
press the like and subscribe because it really does help my channel out and sending all the peace and love to everyone out there on this beautiful Friday.